Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, Boba Fett and more. Before we get into it my dear friends, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for helping me to reach 94,000 subscribers, we're almost at 100k and I can't wait to celebrate with all of you. So please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below and also the bell so that you never miss an upload. But with that said, no more jibber jabber, let's get straight into the news. So we begin with some awesome news for the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. Rory Ross, who plays a Tusken Raider in the Book of Boba Fett, who is also going to play a Stormtrooper in Kenobi, has told Slash Film that when the trailer releases, it's going to quote, blow people's minds. Super exciting stuff, let's see what he had to say. In his own words he said, it's going to be awesome, it's going to be really really cool, having the connective tissue between the prequels and A New Hope, and just understanding where Obi-Wan has been and what's happening story-wise, I think fans are going to enjoy that. It's just going to be a really great time, I think a lot of fans are like, where's the trailer, what's happening? I think the big part of it is Lucasfilm is just trying to make sure that it's as polished as possible, so that when it comes out, it's not going to have that Game of Thrones moment, where there's a coffee cup in the corner that they may Missed or something like that. It's going to have a lot of love that's poured into it and it's just going to hopefully blow people's minds and just really enjoy seeing what's been going on. And I think we can all admit that it's worth them taking the time to make sure that trailer is polished so that when it does release it really packs that punch. Now the marketing for Star Wars by Disney and Lucasfilm has been absolutely atrocious. Having said that, trailers have really not been the concern. For example, when you talk about the trailers for The Mandalorian Seasons 1 and 2, they really got us invigorated and excited for what's to come and yet they didn't reveal much. The Book of Boba Fett trailer was also really cool, although admittedly we were misled because Robert Rodriguez once claimed that everything in the trailer is in the first 15 minutes of the show. And even before the Disney Plus series, regardless of what you thought of the sequel trilogy, their trailers were really well edited. So let's hope with them taking the time with the Kenobi trailer that it's going to be amazing. Given that we have no exact release date for Obi-Wan Kenobi, it's impossible to say for sure when we're going to be getting that trailer. It is rumoured, along with the Bad Batch season 2 to be a spring release date and I think we're all keeping our fingers crossed for that May the 4th release date because it does fall on a Wednesday this year. Considering the likelihood of it falling in the spring or maybe even early summer, you would hope that some kind of teaser or trailer releases in the months following the Book of Boba Fett, which comes to an end in just under two weeks. And I think it's likely we're going to get our first trailer in March or April. As I say, the marketing by Disney for Star Wars has not been great and they tend to leave things to the very last minute, but given the magnitude magnitude of the Kenobi series, you'd assume they try to really push it pre-release. In either case, by the sounds of things, this trailer is going to be insane, and the hype for it sometimes surpasses that of the Book of Boba Fett. People have been talking about the Kenobi series for years, even before it was announced. And even if you think back to Disney Plus Day, and over the past few weeks and months, people are really hyped for this. And not just the diehard fans like us, but also the casuals. When you're dealing with two of the biggest legacy characters in this franchise, of course there's going to be hype. I'm absolutely positive that that first trailer is going to break the internet, and the show is going to be more spoken about than anything else released under Disney Star Wars. We often talk about the major hype that The Force Awakens had, and the same goes for The Mandalorian Season 2, but I don't think any of that compares to Kenobi. And as you guys know, it's my most anticipated of the show. So bring it on, I can't wait. So now my dear friends, something a bit different. We have some new footage of the cancelled Star Wars game 1313 and it's some Boba Fett gameplay. The game originally intended to present a more gritty and grounded look at the galaxy far far away, although Disney's purchase of LucasArts led to the project's unfortunate cancellation. Originally set to be a successor to LucasArts' Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Star Wars 1313 would have put players in the boots of Jango's son Boba Fett instead of Jango himself. But despite the cancellation back in 2013, many details about the interactive game have been released afterwards. The game would have centred around Boba Fett's early years as a spacefaring bounty hunter, with the bulk of combat focusing on the iconic character's arsenal of weaponry and gadgets. Star Wars 1313 would have also introduced fans to a seedy underworld area of Coruscant, the titular level 1313. Frequently compared to Naughty Dog's Uncharted series, the game would have combined fast-paced shooter combat with massive action set pieces. And while many Star Wars fans frequently request that the developers revisit the game, unfortunately my dear friends, the game is more or less completely dead. But the good news is, as we found out the other day, EA have announced three Star Wars games 
all of which will be developed by Respawn Entertainment, and one of them, as we know, is going to be the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order. But it's not going to have the same name, it's going to be Star Wars Jedi, and then a completely different title to follow, so it's not going to be Fallen Order 2. But the story of Cal Kestis is going to continue, and so many fans, myself included, are super hyped. And that, my friends, brings us on to our next subject. Take this with a massive heap of salt, not just a teaspoon, not just a pinch, not just a grain, a heap full. Giant freaking robots are claiming that there is going to be a Jedi Fallen Order live action project at some stage. And we're not talking about gaming here, we're talking about a live action movie or series. I think at some stage it is inevitable we will see Cal Kestis in live action. And my guess is, as an older Jedi in the Mandalorian universe, and some fans believe this was teased the other day in the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 5 with Pelimoto's BD unit. It wasn't BD-1, but a droid of the same model. Some fans have taken this to mean some sort of hints that we are going to get our first look at Fallen Order 2 this year, but Giant Frickin' Robot believe it was a tease for an upcoming live-action show featuring Cal Kestis. In their own words, they say that they've heard from a trusted and proven insider that along with a sequel to Jedi Fallen Order, there is also going to be a live-action project that is currently in development. They don't specify if it's going to be a live-action series or movie, but as I say, take this with a massive heap of salt. Whether we do get this project or not, I think it's a given that at some stage, we will see Cal Kestis in a show. There is so much potential for Cameron Monaghan to play the character in a series Series, and we know based on his words that he would be absolutely down for it. He wants to play the character more, not just in the games, but also in live action. And so finally, my dear friends, I want to share something really awesome. On Reddit, a Star Wars fan has reimagined the credits to The Empire Strikes Back in the concept art style of The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. He also incorporates elements of the actual concept art for Episode 5, and we see some awesome shots of Hoth, Dagobah, Bespin, and so on. Just take a moment to really appreciate appreciate these. It's a very clever concept, which adds a different dimension to the end of the middle installment of the original trilogy, which as you guys know, is my favourite Star Wars movie, and I think it's safe to say that's one of the most popular Star Wars opinions. I also love the inclusion of the original concept art for Dagobah, which wasn't used, and it includes a Krykna spider, who we saw in the animated series, but also in the Mandalorian chapter 10. I'll just let this concept art play so that you can really appreciate it. But otherwise, my dear friends, that brings us to the end of this news update. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new and a huge welcome if you are, and if you want more videos that are not found here on YouTube, then click that link down below, it'll take you to my Patreon page. But until the next one, my dear friends, may the force be with you all. I'm Star Wars Meg, have a good one.